Do you remember when I stored electricity in a syringe? Oh, cool. I didn't. It was a Tesla coil and the charges were running back and forth at around a megahertz. You can inject someone with plasma. Well, that kind of plasma. Nothing was stored in the syringe. Without pulling the syringe, electricity was already moving from the Tesla coil into the nail into my hand. I wasn't feeling anything. The frequency was too high. Then why does it... Frequency and high voltage from a Tesla coil. Yep. It look like you're sucking electricity into the syringe. I'm I still wouldn't put my hand that close to that thing. Creating a partial vacuum yep. inside the syringe. Under the normal air pressure, air molecules are closed. So electrons keep bumping into air molecules and can't build up speed. But in a partial vacuum, the molecules are far apart. So the electrons get to accelerate to much higher speed. In nuclear engineering, we call this the mean free path. Inside the large electric field. And when they eventually bang against an air molecule, they'll hit so fast and hard, they can knock electrons out of their orbits and shake and break the air molecules violently, causing them to glow. Not unlike a plasma ball, or a nuclear fusion reactor for that matter. Though, can you imagine your confinement structure being a syringe?